Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries November 4th, 2022. The moon spends the day in your partnership sector, encouraging a valuable one-on-one -on -one conversation or competent counsel. It can be a great time to collaborate. Someone might remind you of your obligations. Even so, you're self-directed, and while you appreciate feedback and interaction at this time of the lunar month, you don't seem to need others to motivate you to pursue your goals. With your heart truly into your pursuits, you can move mountains. Your dedication and commitment are apparent. The secret to happiness today is balance. Mystical Jupiter is shooting water spouts from the oceans of Pisces. This is because he is retrograde in this zodiac sign and will continue to be for some time yet. The best way to use this energy for your benefit is to consider relationships from your past and how they mirrored you and also forced you to evolve. You are not just one soul traveling through time in isolation you are connected to so many other kindred spirits along the way. Had you not met them, you wouldn't have learned and continue to be learning so many important life lessons about intimacy, your needs, romance, and companionship. Be loyal to your working relationships and commitments. It might be time to separate yourself from any arrangements to focus on independent partnerships and unique responsibilities during the first quarter moon in Aquarius. Instead of focusing on limited opportunities, the lunation invites you to shift your attention to relationships and commitments that could further your career in unexpected ways. You may feel like you have more liberty to do as you please when you entertain unlikely partnerships, unconventional arrangements, or uncommon duties. Do not be afraid to seek out exciting opportunities to commit to. In the lead up to the moon's return to your financial sector tomorrow, this is an important point in any month for having your antennas up. Even more so as the moon prepares to not only return for its first visit since Jupiter retrograde back in last week but the only visit while the planet of luck and expansion is in retrograde motion. The next few days will be insightful. You are going to feel very useful over the next few weeks. Useful to others but even more importantly vitally connected to your own life in a purposeful way. Give yourself what you need in terms of health and wellness in order to truly make the most of this period. The planetary configuration indicates a time to be thoughtful about what you put into your body, for you know that experiencing the consequences of what you eat is unavoidable. If you're out and about today, you can bet you'll meet someone new. It's a one day, and new is the keyword. It's an opportune time to make business contacts, as well as personal relationships. With your social nature, be mindful that any business meetings, even virtual ones, don't wind up being a social scene before the work is done. In fact, if it's possible, make a point of dedicating yourself to work before pleasure on a day like this. You'll get considerably more done this way. Set some plans for fun with friends new and old this evening, if possible. The moon's return to your relationship sector each month is always a valuable chance to check in and especially this first visit since Saturn's direct turn here 10 days ago. As the moon and Saturn align today there is a chance to look to the future, but it is still early days, with no pressure to move forward or to do anything other than pay attention. What you will find is that while you are just as emotionally engaged, the past no longer has the hold on you that it did. The moon is making its first visit to your relationship sector since Saturn turned direct here, with their alignment today coming 10 days after his last retrograde phase for another three decades here ended. This is a chance to not only become more emotionally engaged but connect with the planet that is now focused on the future rather than the past. Our eyes in the sky. Today kicks up plenty of conversation all around as Mercury and Venus, both in Scorpio, align with the Pisces moon. The moon trines these planets, adding to the vibe of connectivity. There's an emphasis on expression and legal matters. There is clarity in certain circumstances, but someone or something is trying to play with your memory. Early in the day, the Pisces moon experiences a quick and healing aspect that allows us to be seen. Try to write things down if you're afraid you'll forget certain bits of information. 
You could even be overwhelmed by the amount of chatter going on in your various circles and groups. Pay careful attention to what's happening in the news, especially because the sun's presence in emotional Scorpio can give the playful energy a sarcastic and dark tone. Hidden information needs to be uncovered. It might not be today, but it will come out very soon. Mercury in Scorpio wants to be very righteous. There could be a strong element of ego being pushed forward in the media throughout the day. Stay tuned for more information. You don't know how others are feeling right now, but that will soon be revealed, especially in love situations. Relationships in general are going through a phase of reconnection and psychological evolution as the Scorpio sun sorts out the details. In the morning, the moon trines Mars, helping us to assert ourselves. This is an ideal aspect to harness if we have a project to pitch or a declaration to make. The Aquarius moon encourages us to think outside the box, while Mars in Gemini allows us to candidly communicate our intent. However, we should be mindful that Mars has just begun its retrograde journey. We may begin to be subtly aware that our stamina and willpower are being leached from us. The trine is a harmonious, comfortable influence, and we might squander this aspect's potency, failing to use it to its fullest potential. Although this is an excellent time for helping to move stalled projects through a pipeline, we may think, it can wait. Adopting this attitude will be detrimental to our progress. Muster your energy and give your cause a little push that's all it should take to get the ball rolling. However, before noon, the moon enters nebulous Pisces. Although it has exited its short void of course, Pisces is an out there sign, and the rest of the day may be spent attending to dreamy pursuits. This is an ideal lunar transit for rest and relaxation, if we can afford it. If there is work to be done, we will feel lethargic, especially if our work involves physical labor or intellectual rigor. However, creative efforts will benefit from the moon's sojourn in the sign of the fishes, as imaginative exploits get a boost. If we can transfer our artistic ideas out of our mind's eye and onto the canvas, all the better. This afternoon can additionally be used for meditation, spiritual studies, and practicing divinatory techniques.